Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm a digital media expert. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to import an AVI file to your iTunes. Now, first what we need to do is we need to convert the file to an MOV file, something that is supported by iTunes, all right? So let me go ahead and show you how to do that Let's hop on the computer here. Now, I'm gonna use an online converter just because it's free and I know that you can access it. Go to this website here called online convert.com and once again it's for free you can do other things as well such as audio and images and stuff but let's go ahead and focus on video here and you want to concentrate on choosing your target format so we can click on the menu and choose accordingly I'm going to choose MOV and hit go okay from here we can choose which file and I'm gonna go under my movies here. And there's an AVI file right here. Okay, so I'm gonna choose that one. I'm gonna hit open. All right, now let's scroll down. We have a few options as far as uh, the settings. We can change the size if we want to. We can change the bit rate. Um, we can change the frame rate really basically customize from the original and even cut it down. But if you want to just keep uh, the video as is and just convert it to the different format, we can do that as well. So let's go ahead and focus on that. Um, we can just basically do nothing. Just enter, don't enter any changes if you want to keep it. Then we can go down to convert file down here. Okay, and that's going to take some time. All right, so it looks like the video is done and it's gonna automatically download for us and that's pretty great. And once it's downloaded to your computer, we can switch over to my finder here and locate it on your desktop or wherever you have saved it. And here we go, I have my .mov file. I can just simply click and drag this into iTunes like so and then it will import into iTunes. So that's basically it, guys. There's not much to it. All you have to do is use the online converter and then drag it into iTunes. So if you do have any other questions, please let us know, and thank you for watching.